hello students welcome to online teaching today we will discuss first chapter of history from the beginning of time so in this you can see the beginning means the starting of anything that we have to start our work here we will discuss about the human beings the human beings that were living on this earth different stages were covered by them to reach the final destination that is the modern humans as we are so before that you should know three terms that will help you in understanding this chapter the first one is prehistory second is history and last is proto history these terms will help you in understanding this chapter so all these three words are having the word that is history which topic we are studying that is history so in that what is there first we will discuss one by one prehistory <clears throat> what is in that the records that are not found or you may say no written data are available no written data are available only assumptions only assumptions in the form of in the form of cave painting tools and bones etc so you can say that in prehistory as the human beings they are living on this earth million of years and during that time period no such written documents or data were available only the assumptions were there that were in the cave painting tools some of the tools that were found and the scholars the scientists by carbon 14 they try to find out that these types of the tools these types of the bones that were found in that particular age so these are the only assumptions all the records that are found but no written only so this is most important thing and in this chapter we will discuss about the prehistory only because no written record is available only these forms that we are having and we will discuss one by one okay now second thing that you should be knowing that is history second thing is history most important part history if you see the study of past events the study of past events most important part history connects past you may say with present and future if history we may exclude or we may terminate out so it will be very difficult to understand the things then two things will be left present and future so history or the past is the base and after that we are able to understand different things different topics related to human beings or you may see it connects present and future it is the most important part for that or you may say the definition also the discovery 
द कलेक्शन द अरेंजमेंट एंड प्रेजेंटेशन प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन प्रेजेंट ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पास्ट इवेंट्स अबाउट द पास्ट इवेंट्स यू कैन सी दीज द थिंग्स दैट वर डिस्कवर्ड कलेक्टेड एंड अरेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी ऑफ द रिमेन्स ऑफ द बिल्डिंग्स दैट वी मे सी द डाटाज वॉज कलेक्टेड एंड ऑर्गेनाइज एंड अरेज इन ए सीक्वेंस एंड आफ्टर दैट प्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द इंफॉर्मेशन इट मीन्स आफ्टर दिस चैप्टर फ्रॉम सेकेंड ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल डिस्कस हिस्ट्री इट मीन्स द रिटर्न रिकॉर्ड्स आर अवेलेबल डिफरेंट सिविलाइजेशन आर देयर that were found on the earth and even we are the part of this what things we have discussed earlier all are the part of our history so it means two things are clear prehistory and history prehistory includes the unwritten documents unwritten data and in history the written records are there that will help us in understanding otherwise we will not be able to know what the things were there in history for example you can see when we got independence in 1947 and before that a lot of problems were faced by the indians and we framed the best constitution in the world the best constitution because we gave maximum power to the central government we have suffered earlier this was our history that forced us to make a best constitution same situation was in south africa also south africa also here the racial discrimination was there and they had suffered a lot and when this discrimination was over they framed the constitution that demolished the racial discrimination so history is the best thing that connects the present and the future okay now next topic that we will be discussing that is proto history that is proto history third proto history so you can see the return records are available are available but these are still not able to be read not able to be deciphered or not it means you can see that written records are available and these written records we are having but the problem is this we are not able to understand example harappan civilization in harappan civilization this is the best civilization of india but still some of the script are there that we are not able to read or we are not able to understand so it means this is the proto history you will read in 10th and 12th class about the harappan civilization okay these three definitions that are most important part that will help you in understanding the history that will make the things clear okay now we come to our topic from the beginning of time this is the name of the chapter it means the starting the beginning of the humans that evolved on this earth and before that you have heard the name of charles darwin i think you are everybody have read about that he was a biologist a scholar in 1859 he wrote a book on the origin of species he on the origin of species 
that was the book that was written by him and you can see that in a single day more than 1200 copies were sold out were sold out in a single day in a single day so that may be uh, you may say something important that was written otherwise how it is it possible that in a single day and during that time period where no such modern facilities or things were available so you can say what you wrote you i think you are aware that the diverse group on this earth they have common or few different ancestors it means you can see the human beings we originated from the apes and the monkeys from the animals and you can see the reptiles the modified form of the reptiles that came on this earth so he told that we are having the common ancestors from where we originated we evolved it means that is the common thing and what he told next is it is the natural process natural selection it is not artificial or made by something it is the natural it is the universal truth that can't be denied so he was the person biologist who said that that the humans or the other creatures that are living on this earth they have the common ancestors or common genes that we are having okay so this was the important topic now we will discuss we will come to the point about the evolution of human beings Be of that is the first evidences of the creatures that are found on this primates as if you see the meaning the apes or the monkeys this is the meaning that we are having and you may say these are the the developed or intelligent intelligent form of mammals these were the creatures that originated on the earth when about 36 to 24 million years ago this was the time period when these primates come on this earth they existed on this earth and our chapter starts from here this is the time period that we will be studying so this was the time period this was the beginning it is not that they were very intelligent but the thing is that they were the modified form of the previous apes before that which apes were living or which creatures were living that was a modified form that came on this earth and what they were including apes monkeys and even human beings these were the part of this and human beings were the part of this primates family and these were nearly 36 to 24 million years ago and what were their features that they were having some of the features were you can see some of the features here on the bodies second is different types of the teeth different types of the teeth next is memory glands memory glands means that feed the babies next is reproduction system and 
नेक्स्ट इज दैट इज अबाउट द द पावर टू फील टू सॉरी द पावर टू एडॉप्ट द टेम्परेचर द पावर टू एडॉप्ट द टेम्परेचर और इम्यूनाइजेशन पावर और यू मे से इम्यूनाइजेशन पावर दैट कैन एबल टू अडॉप्ट इन एनी ऑफ द टेम्परेचर एनी ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट दीज वर द सम ऑफ द फीचर्स दैट वर फाउंड इट मीन्स दे हैव सम ऑफ द पावर इम्यूनाइजेशन पावर दैट दे कैन फेस एनी ऑफ द चैलेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट टाइम पीरियड so these were the primates that came on the earth and we will study these part they were having the hair on the bodies different types of the teeth were there mammary glands reproduction system and the power to fight from the environment that was the part of this now second thing that we will discuss about the hominoids this is the second part that we will be discuss hominoids hominoids this is also the modifying of form of the primates what that they originated about originated about 24 million years ago they originated about 24 million years ago and they were the super family they were the super family of monkeys and apes monkeys and apes now you can see which type of that the gibbons the gibbons asian orangutan asian orangutan chimpanzees and gorillas these were some of the apes or monkeys that were found on this earth okay now some of the important thing related to this they have some of the characteristics that they have small brain they have the small brain next is they have the large teeth and jaw not able to up upright posture was missing a bright posture was missing and no specialization of hands no specialization of hands so you can see that they originated about 24 million years ago and they were the super family of monkeys and apes these were the gibbons asian orangutan chimpanzees and gorillas that were the creatures that evolved from this what were their features they have the small brain large teeth and jaw upright posture was missing means they can't move straight and no specialization of hands as we human beings are there now two three things you should know these orangutan if you see the latest study says that they are the most intelligent creature after the human beings this orangutan that is the part on this earth this is the creature that is most intelligent after the human beings that can able to understand the things in a good way or in a proper manner and next thing is there only six types of six types of species only six types of species are found 
that are related to human beings only six types are there that are found six types of species related to human beings are found related to human beings are found on the earth that is that is fossils two species of gorillas second is chimpanzees one species of of chimpanzee third is one species of bonobos and the uh, two species of orangutan you can see these are the six species that are related to human beings that are found on this and i have told that orangutan is the most intelligent creature after the human beings so they are still prevalent they are still found and most of them others they have most of the others most of the others they have extinct so that is most important part you should be aware now third thing that we will be discussing that is hominids third that we will be discussing that is hominids this is also the modified form of the human beings they evolved on the earth about 6.4 million years ago they came on the earth that was nearly 6.4 million years ago that came on this earth they are some of the characteristics that they were have the large brain second specialization of hands specialization of hands upright posture upright posture that they were having and small teeth and jaw in comparison to hominids so these were the things that were related to the hominids now you can see all these are the creatures that modified from one another here the darwin theory that supports that we are having the common ancestors that may be any so this is about the hominids and from here most important part originated that is the creature that we are having that is australopithecus australopithecus and next is homo these are the two creatures that evolved from hominids so they were the creatures that were intelligent also and even some of the evidences of tool making that also of ethics and homo they have started to of making the tools and even the uses of fire that are related to these types of the human beings or earlier human beings that were found on this earth now we will discuss the first is australopithecus that is most important part that is the modified form of the humans the earlier humans that were found this is most important part when they originated they originated about they originated about 5.6 million years ago 
5.6 million years ago that is not so much old if you compare it with the age earth the age of earth is 4.6 billion years old and if you compare with australopithecus or human creatures we are the new one we are the latest one creature there are on this earth even the himalayas or other mountains that are on this earth they are older than the human beings we are the newest one that are the creatures that the earth has so if you compare we are the modern we are not so much old now we will discuss about the features of australopithecus they originated about 5.6 million years ago and here this australopithecus has been taken from the two words that is austral and pithecus austral this is a latin word which means southern which means southern that is australo second is pithecus this is a greek word and it means a so the combination comes that it is southern app if you join these words then it is known as southern app it means the apes that were found in the south part of the world or the continent they are known as southern ape but we are not having any of the evidences that these apes they were found in the south part maximum origin of the human beings they are modifying or they are saying that only africa is the place where the humans originated maximum of the evidences are found from there the countries are kenya ethiopia somalia uganda is there tanzania is there these are few of the countries where the evidences of human beings are found and they are you may say from the beginning okay now i am saying that this is known as the southern ape but it is not due to this reason why they are called as southern ape we will discuss so first we will discuss about that what the common features they were having they were having the small brain second is upright posture was missing upright posture was missing upright posture was missing third thing is there that no specialization no specialization of hands no specialization of hands that what you can see our hand the gripping hand and if we compare it with the monkeys the thumb part is missing due to this reason we human beings are in a position to work in a better or our gripping power is good in comparison of these early humans no specialization of hands next thing is there that maximum time maximum time spent on trees only maximum time spent on trees only you can see these are the features of an ape or a monkey the maximum you can see this is the reason that they were known as the australopithecus or southern ape because they have some characteristics of these apes they do not want to live on the earth mostly they want they give preference on the trees only so this was the reason that they were on the earth that they were living okay now and here also the most important thing this is there about 5.6 million years ago they came on this earth and that is 1.3 million years ago they extinct on this earth 
this is also most important part they extinct during that time period these creatures they were living on this earth this was the beginning this was the evolution and after that they extinct that was the most important part now next thing that we will be discussing that is homo if you see that homo most important part that they are having homo so homo means if you see it is a latin word a latin word which means a latin word which means man or woman when or woman okay now these creatures they move on two legs so that is bipedalism and quadrupeds quadrupeds these things you should know before that you should know about these okay we discuss about hominoids hominids and even osmophytes what was that they move on four legs they move on two legs and that was also same feature that was of the four legs or you may say sometimes even two also now this is known as quadrupeds and this is bipedalism you should know so now what is the most important thing that we will be discussing this differentiate between bipedalism and quadrupeds homo i have told a which means the man or woman that are the part of homo before that we will discuss this first bipedalism and quadrupeds this you should know bipedalism in bipedalism bipedalism and quadrupeds now you can see by i have told which move on two feet which moves on two feet and which moves on four so here we should know something about that what is there the first thing that you will be having a part but due to this they can free their arms they can free the arms you can see when we are on the four and when we come on the two a lot of difference comes these hominoids osmophytes or primates when they were on the four legs they have some of the drawbacks when we are on the bipedalism we have some advantages we will be discussing that due to this bipedalism they can free their arms means as we are there we are not able to do the things as we want but as we come on to the two you may say legs then we can easily move they can free the arms second it allowed it allowed these early humans these early humans to make and use tools that can be used for this it allowed the early humans to make and use tools third is they can walk upright as well as as well as they can see as well as they can see 
फार अवे डिस्टेंसेज फार अवे डिस्टेंसेज दे कैन सी फार अवे डिस्टेंसेज ऑल्सो हेयर दीज दे विल नॉट दे कॉन्ट फ्री देयर आर्म्स सेकेंड इज इट अलाउ टू मेक्स दैट विल नॉट बी देयर नॉट एबल टू मेक not able to make as well as use these were the things that were found not able to make or use tools not able to make use tools and even they can't see far away distances they can't see far away distances far away distances even some of the remains are found in litholi and ethiopia related to bipedal element quadrupeds bi means two quadra means four quadra is quadrilateral you have read in maths so these are the important things that we have discussed now we come to our next topic that is most important part that is homo that is homo the most important part that we will be discussing that is most is homo i am told what a latin word which means man or woman man or woman it means this is the homo homo that may be man or woman that are related to this so here when they when they originated on this earth the first is that we will be discussing homo men and women they came on earth 2.5 to 2.0 million years ago this is the time that is assumed that these creatures came on the earth and after that they are the other modified form that came on this earth so second is homo habilis in this they are known as tool maker they are known as tool maker now you can see the tool word is used what do you mean by that okay we will discuss in next